Hello and good day. Chef David Rose here again, live and direct from where else but the Georgia Power Customer Resource Center. And today I'm throwing down in the all electric kitchen and making a stout braised lamb shank with a cauliflower puree. You heard it right. And I cannot tell you how elated I am to be cooking on the Vulcan Versatile Chef Station. It can do so much. It can sear, it can braise, it can fry, steam, retherm, saute, boil, and so much more. I cannot wait for you to taste these lamb shanks. You could literally taste it through the camera. Finger licking good. It's gonna be so good, guys. Stay tuned. Today we're making one of my favorites, a stout braised lamb shank with a cauliflower puree. Classic dish, super classic dish, and the shank is essentially the shin of the lamb. And the lamb does not mix a single gym day with legs. So the key to this recipe is braising it, getting a nice hard sear, and breaking down those connective tissues and muscle fibers inside of the meat. The beautiful thing about the Vulcan Versatile Chef Station is that you can literally do so many types of cooking while you're using the device. So I wanna hit over here, I have it on the griddle setting, right now at about 360, 365. What we wanna do first when you're braising, you wanna ensure a nice hard sear on the meat, so that way when you braise, it's not falling apart, the shank retains its shape, it has that nice, hard, caramelized crust on the outside, but that very moist, fall apart bone with the meat just coming right off. Even temperature control on there. And what we're looking for is a nice, hard sear on the lamb shank. All right, once you take these beauties when they're nice and caramelized off of the griddle, you want to take them off and you want to keep all that delicious lamb fat, those little burnt bits, and we're going to throw our mirepoix right into the versatile chef station. So mirepoix, one part carrots, celery, and last but not least, we have some Vidalia onions to add in there. Once we have all the vegetables and tomato paste in there, nice and caramelized, nice and brown, we want to then go ahead and deglaze what we have going on. Deglazing essentially is a fancy word for getting all those flavors, all those little tasty bits from the bottom into the braising liquid. So what I have here is some porter beer, a Guinness. It's gonna add a nice bitter note to it as well as hints of caramel, vanilla, and we're gonna really drive home those flavors of vanilla, caramel, a little bit of earthiness as well with root beer. So root beer and porter, trust me guys, it's going to be fantastic. So about a bottle of each. And the shank is an extremely tough piece of meat. So at this point, you're allowing it to braise and by braising it, it's gonna break down all that tough connective tissue for about two and a half to three hours till it's fork tender. And trust me, the finished product will be through the roof. There we have our stout braised lamb shank with the garlicky Swiss chard and that delicious, creamy, make you forget all about mashed potatoes, cauliflower puree, all done on the Vulcan Versatile Chef Station. And only one thing left to do, Roxanne, you know what that is? Taste test. Let's dig in, let's do it. Fall off the bone, mm -hmm. um, braised. Yes. That creamy cauliflower puree just melts in your mouth. It is so good. Um, and all of it done in the Versatile Chef Station. It's just amazing. You are a wonderful chef. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank you so much.